I have an insane penny stock pick today. This is primed to be the highest profiting marijuana company in Canada. The news here is insane. Watch the entire video to hear about the most recent news and the most important news about this company. This company owns many stores and I'm shocked honestly by how undervalued this stock is. Subscribe and give this video a like right now to help the cause. Turn on the notification bell to get these killer stock picks instantly and daily. I made a video about this stock about 10 days ago, but had to give an update to my newest subscribers because this is one of my favorite stocks on the market currently. We're going to go over the website briefly and then look at the ticker and chart. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna go over the biggest news. The company is High Tide. A decade of experience in the cannabis industry has positioned High Tide Inc. as a leading enterprise operating across Canada, Europe, and the United States. Founded in 2009, our portfolio companies include a dominant Canadian cannabis retail chain, a global manufacturer and distributor of cutting edge smoking accessories, and the largest accessories e-commerce platform in the world. We've spent the last decade developing an intimate understanding of cannabis consumers and a suite of retail experiences to service their interests, uniquely positioning high tide for international expansion through emerging legal markets. That's just a quick run through of what the company is about. High Tide currently has eight different brands. These brands include Canna Cabana, Kush Bar, New Leaf, and Meta, creating one of the largest footprints in Canada for cannabis. Our grasscity.com platform is frequented by over 20 million customers a year. 20 million people are buying from grasscity.com per year. Just to give you a quick run through of their brands, these are all of their brands right here. If you guys do wanna check this out, go to their website and you can dive a little bit deeper into each one of these brands. The most interesting one is this one. They have partnerships with celebrity and entertainment brands like Snoop Dogg, Trailer Park Boys, and Paramount Pictures. So they have partnerships with Snoop Dogg, Trailer Park Boys, and all of these really, really massive names a lot of people already know about. And if they do start making commercials with people like Snoop Dogg, for example, this will bring in so many people recognition about this company. As of January 29th, it is January 31st today, Senate leader Schumer pushing federal marijuana legalization as priority. They're making it a priority currently in the Senate to get marijuana legalized. If marijuana does get legalized in the US, that will add an insane amount of hype to these marijuana stocks and it will definitely cause this one to move up in price in the long term. Even if it doesn't get legalized in the US, this will still move up in the long term because this company is in Canada and Canada has full legalization of marijuana. Just recently, as of January 22nd, High Tide opens new Canna Cabana store. I will get into how many stores they currently have more towards the end of the video, but it is a significant amount for how small this company is, and they are constantly updating the shareholders with the new stores they are releasing. Every single store that they open just creates a new flow of revenue and profit coming into this company, which is obviously the goal here. As of January 11th, High Tide unveils new and improved website. Just recently, they created this website that you are looking at right now on the screen here. This is a brand new website. Also another sign that they are constantly working on their company. Before we talk about the 2021 news, I wanna go over their 2020 highlights. They acquired Meta to become the largest retailer in Canada by revenue, which increased High Tide store count from 37 to 67. So in 2020, they went from 37 267. We will talk about what they plan to do in 2021. Store count wise, total revenue increased by 184% for the nine month period ended July 31st, 2020. E commerce revenue increased by 137% during the year and launched CBDCity.com in May of 2020. Gross profit margin for the three months ended July 31st increased to 40%, over 55% of daily retail cannabis transactions are currently conducted by Cabana Club members. Improve the company's balance sheet through several transactions, most notably including restructuring $10.8 million of debt for the first period ended July 31st, 2020. 23% of the company's revenue was generated in the US. They are located in Canada, but 23% of the company's revenue 
was generated in the US, which is ridiculous. This is big right here. First Canadian or US cannabis retailer to apply to be listed on the NASDAQ. We'll talk more about that at the end of the video, but if they do get accepted into the NASDAQ, that would be insane news, pushing the stock price much, much higher. Let's take a look at their chart really quick here. Company name, High Tide Incorporated, ticker H-I-T-I-F. Looking at their five day chart, their high is 55 cents. They're currently sitting at 40 cents. Their one month chart, their low was 20 cents. So it's doubled in a month. But if you look at their six months chart, they were very, very steady. They're not like a pump and dump by any means. This is a company that has many stores, many retailers, many websites and many acquisitions. This is far from a pump and dump company. This is a long term stock hold. This is a good mark to buy into the stock. The ticker is H I T I F and they are currently sitting at a very low $176 million market cap. This is one of the bigger pieces of news that have recently just came out. January 25th, 2020, High Tide continues to strengthen U.S. market presence through acquisition of leading e-commerce retailer Smoke Cartel. Just recently, January 25th, High Tide acquired the company Smoke Cartel. By entering into an agreement to acquire Smoke Cartel, upon the closing of the acquisition of Smoke Cartel, High Tide will operate both the largest and the second largest e-commerce platforms for consumption accessories in the world, and they believe it will be well positioned to begin online cannabis sales should the U.S. move towards federal legalization. So if they do start doing online cannabis sales in the U.S., that will increase their profits drastically. And they already have 23% of their revenue coming from the U.S. and they are located in Canada. Smoke Cartel ticker SMKC. This is the company High Tide is acquiring. They will be acquiring the full $6.463 million market cap. This piece of information here is very, very important. HITIF, upon releasing of the next earning report, High Tide will officially be the fifth highest earner in Canadian cannabis sector, beating Fire and Flower and Hexo Core. If you take a look at how close they are to these two companies right now. They're sitting below them. They're trying to get right here. Fireflower is at 31 million. Hexocorp is at 29 million. If you look at the stock price and market cap of Hexocorp, they're at $8 stock price and $1 billion market cap nearly. HITIF is almost beating their sales at a $176 million market cap and a 39 cent stock price. This literally makes no sense. If High Tide is making more than a $1 billion company, shouldn't they be at that point? Shouldn't they be higher than an $8 stock price? Maybe they should. Think about that guys for a second. That is massive. With all the companies that High Tide is acquiring, the stores they are opening, the revenue they are bringing in, 19% quarterly revenue, they are easily gonna tear through Hexocorp and Fireflower and then go up and try to beat out TerraSen. They're gonna be one of the highest profiting, highest revenue cannabis companies in Canada. This is very important too. HITIF will almost double its current store count from 67 stores to 115 stores by the end of 2021. The majority of these stores will be in Ontario, which is Canada's largest cannabis market. That's why they're opening all the stores there because it is the largest cannabis market in Ontario and has been mostly untapped by HITIF so far. So the largest cannabis market they haven't even stepped into. They haven't even came into Ontario and they're making this much profit. Think about what the, what's going to happen when they actually get into this part of Canada. The profit is going to soar. The sales are going to soar. Everything is going to go up. The stock price is going to go up. This stock is very, very undervalued. HITIF has strong vertical integration, design, manufacturing, distribution, and retail, and a 41% gross margin. HITIF has secured several licensing deals for its accessories, Snoop Dogg, Trailer Park Boys, Kevin Smith's Guns N' Roses. You guys know these names. You guys already know they have licensing deals with all of these people, all of these groups. Once the word about this gets out there and they start making ads and commercials with these people like Snoop Dogg, for example, that's the biggest name in there. This is going to get way more recognition that it deserves. HITIF will focus on expansion in the U.S. after it's done with its Ontario market. So in 2021, their focus is to get as many stores as they can in the Ontario market. After that, they're going to go to the U.S. And the U.S. obviously has a huge market for cannabis. And the industry as a whole will benefit from a presidency, house, and Senate that is controlled by Democrats with 23% of their revenue are 
already coming from the US. HITIF should have little difficulty expanding their US operations further after legalization increases. HITIF with 22% revenue of 23.1 million being U.S. sale through Grass City, totaling over 5 million per quarter, and Smoke Cartel expected to report 7.4 million annualized revenue for 2020, 1.85 million per quarter average. We are looking at nearly $7 million per quarter of just e-commerce business alone, not even with their sales of weed, just e-commerce business alone. They have 700 employees, guys. A lot of people say in the comments, how many employees does this company have? It only has like five employees, only has 10. This company has 700 employees and that is only going to expand with their goal of getting over 100 stores in 2021. On December 9th, 2020, High Tide announces their application to be listed on the NASDAQ. HITIF is actually the first in this sector to apply for the NASDAQ. And with all this very good news and very good earnings and financials, it will most likely get uplisted and join the NASDAQ, which will make the stock price moon. I did want to show you guys this. This is basically the Canadian version of SEC filings. You can see here, their dates are being constantly updated. It's basically called the XBRL Voluntary Filing Program. That is basically just the Canadian version of SEC filings. So I did just wanna go over the most recent news and the best news in this video. I really think this is a long-term hold. No, this is not a pump and dump. I have no control over pumping a stock at all. I'm a small channel that has no control over doing that. I am telling you guys about this stock because this company has long-term potential. All the news I told you here, you would be kind of an idiot to think that this stock is not gonna have very long-term potential. This is going over a dollar easily. Remember that HITIF is about to pass up this company, Hexo Corp, that is barely making more money than HITIF. They're a billion dollars, they're $8, they're a Canadian cannabis company, and they're barely making more money than HITIF, and HITIF, is about to pass them up. Put two and two together and consider if you wanna add this stock to your watch list. If you do wanna go ahead and grab four free stocks, no, this stock HITIF is not on Weeble. It is on TD Ameritrade or Fidelity. But if you do wanna grab four free stocks valued up to $3,700, go down to the description, click this link right here. It will bring you here. Get four free stocks valued up to $3,700. All you have to do is create an account Add $100 to the account or you're not going to get the free stocks and you can get a Google stock, a Facebook stock, Starbucks, not guaranteed to get those big names, but you're going to get four free stocks. It's usually at least 50 to $100. You're going to get free stocks. I'm going to get free stocks. It's a win-win situation. This is literally free money. Go ahead and sign up for Webull right now. If you do want to directly support me, you can click this link right here and it's $5 for my Patreon. I post stock information and you can directly hit me up there and message me if you do want to do that. Best way to support me. Follow my Twitter at moonmarket underscore. Follow my stock twits. Check out my two previous videos. These penny stocks have massive news for them. So definitely check these out and you might want to add these stocks to your watch list also. At the end of every single video, I shout out my most recent Patreon. So thank you, Nag, Edward, Ibrahim, Mark, Shakuk, Melissa, Bruno, Neil, and Uncle Kimmy. Thank you guys for hitting that subscription on that Patreon. And I just wanted to end this video off by giving a shout out to this video. Guys, go ahead and check out this video. It's on my channel. It is titled, You Won't Achieve Financial Freedom If You Don't Have This Skill. This is one of my favorite videos on my channel. It has not got much recognition. Please go ahead and watch that video and hit the like so more people can see that. That is it for the video today. Check out HITIF. Add it to your watch list ASAP.